yeah, we're back. Need for Speed Underground 2, as you can see. Uh, trying to beat the best score. Um, you know, uh, Bandai, they're really smart. When they pushed out this update, they made a leaderboard that basically showed everyone in their top scores. And to see how fast... Oh, wait. No, they didn't. There's no fucking reason to do this except for my own autism. So, here we go. On the low, uh, I guess I'll bring, like... Ikaru and uh, King Yama, might as well. Uh, what the hell? And I'm going to go with Mono 5. I was thinking of going with Mono Tech. But honestly, this team pretty much depresses me. Like, honestly, I don't ever want Mono Tech. Like, I don't care about Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And this team, like, it's not bad. It's not terrible. But I don't, I don't know. Something about it. Something about it makes me fucking sick. But fine. Ooh. Mono 5. I want to cry. I mean, honestly, Mono Tech, the only th thing I like about it is one the pairing of Bardock and Goku and then the pairing of Frieza with the Frieza so let me see uh okay so Janemba uh and then AGL and then okay so what the who the fuck what Goku is this oh, this is Super Saiyan 3 right and then that is Angel so what is that is that Gogeta do you fight Gogeta probably um since I got modify, I guess I'll go the middle route. Fuck it. They like to drain you. Come on, bro. I gotta go. I gotta beat my fucking time, dude. What is this? Come on. But that is kind of mong. Like, I feel like, uh, uh, DBZ Deacon Battle kind of missed the mark on that one. Like, they probably could have, should have added some type of way to, you know, display your time with friends, maybe, or, you know, have some type of leader leaderboard, or, I don't know, maybe just have missions like do this within five minutes do this within 10 minutes shit like that instead they're like eh, you know go ahead play the game have fun uh if you do it you do it if you don't you don't which is fun i guess i mean you know it's a game it's a game i mean you could make anything fun but at the same time like boss rush it came with missions you know what i mean it came with shit for some reason this mode it's a completely new mode and they're like ah, eh, fuck it i mean play it or don't play eat ass and I'll tell you right now, I am eating ass and playing the game at the same time. So joke's on them. I found a fucking plot hole, so let's do this. I low-key might nuke them, right? I, I, I might low-key uh, nuke them. Yeah, I might nuke Bandai. I'm, I low-key might nuke Janemba, bro. Because he's in. Yeah, oh, dude, this guy, oh, he's fucking done. This guy's done for, dude. If fucking Ultimate Gohan, who doesn't even have the link skill, did that, mu that much damage? Lord, I can't even talk, dude. Fucking... The, the beauty that is fucking Broly is getting me too horny. Jesus Christ, Mary and Joseph. Take me higher. Your desire. No, do, do, do. All right, let's see. Semi-final. Wow, I fucking blew through Janember. This will probably take a little bit longer, low-key, on the low. Uh, but, you know. Uh, let's see. What should I do here? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Right? I'm going to do that. Dan, I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. And Dan, uh... And then Mongo's gonna get absolutely fucking nothing. Rest in peace. Sorry, boss, but he ain't getting shit from me. I like Monofy a lot, honestly. I mean, a lot of people say that it is the absolute worst mono team. Eh, which I guess is, I don't know, I guess is true. I mean, yeah, eh, I don't know. I feel like Monotech is worse, in my opinion. I don't know. I mean, I know that Monofy doesn't technically have a tank, but. I feel like Golden Frieza from Monotech shouldn't count because so more times than not, he's not HP above 50%. Like, that fuckboy never has enough HP. He's always fucking low as fuck. He's like, hey, boss, no HP. And it's like, nigga, why do you need fucking 50% HP to block properly? And it's because I like to drain. And it's like, fuck you, Golden Frieza. You're lucky you look handsome. Otherwise, I kick your ass off this team. And not only that, obviously, I think Monotech is the only team type I don't have a god lead for. Which I really don't care. I don't give a fuck about Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. I don't... I, honestly, I don't like Gotenks as a character that much. I just feel like... I mean, Goten and Trunks, I like them more than I like Gotenks. Just because of the fact that fucking Gotenks is just such a, like, atypical fucking asshole. I know that's kind of, like, what he's kind of sort of supposed to be. Like, that's part of his character, like... He's just a dickhead, which is kind of, I mean, honestly, it's kind of cool. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't like what they represent, even though I do like how they're portrayed. Because basically what Akira Toriyama, a.k.a. 
the god who created Dragon Ball Z, aka, even though Dragon Ball Super is super shit, I still like him. He's he's a low key nice guy. Not really. I don't give a fuck. I like his product, but I don't I don't know the first thing about the guy. Um, but uh, for like the whole theme and the whole idea of like being a Super Saiyan and how like Mongos when they become Super Saiyan they low key like lose their mind. Well, not lose their mind, but they basically. Uh, let me try to get a super ultimate going on. Come on, baby. Come on. Tell me that's five. Okay, it was. Thank you. Um, hmm. Alright, I guess I'll take that. Fucking A, man. Um, but, uh, damn, I took a lot of damage. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, basically showing that when you become a Super Saiyan, you low key become an asshole. That was pretty cool. Even when Goku became Super Saiyan, I think, if I remember correctly, King Kai was like, yo, this nigga, he don't, he don't really glowed the fuck up. He really looking nice. And, like, the whole, like, like, one thing, like, my friends always used to roast Goku for is, like, yo, man, why would he give Frieza energy? Because, like, at the end of the battle, um, let me see, who has higher defense right now? Ooh, my God, brother, your defense is so garbage. All right, let's see. If he does a super... I guess I'll leave it as is. I would honestly, I feel like they should add to this game the ability to see if someone's gonna super just as is. Like there should be no fucking ability for that shit. Let me see. Is Ultimate Gohan still gonna be around? Yeah, yeah. So I should heal. I should heal just so my boy Ultimate Gohan can get his passive back. Boom. Um, but like at the end of the battle between Goku and Frieza, Goku gives Frieza a little bit of his energy, and he's like, "Yo, bro, I pity you. Even though you brolic as hell, you sexy as hell." Um, I pity you, you're a fuckboy on the low, here you go, uh, here's a little bit of energy, just get out of here, don't, oh my god, oh my, he really gonna soup for me, uh, just go, don't come back, and what Frieza does with that, cause he's smart, Frieza's very intelligent, what he decides to do is take that last bit of energy that Goku gave him, and use it to kill him, like, try to kill him with, a with that death's rotisserie shit, the fucking, um, what the fuck you call it, Jesus Christ, uh, think, 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 brain blast destructo disc. So he decides to use destructo disc to cuck him, and it's honestly pretty retarded. Like, I have no clue why he went into that jutsu. Like, I don't know how you could be that tight as someone. But then again, they did a pretty good job with making Frieza, like, so fucking angry for no reason. Especially against monkeys. Uh, which is weird, because Frieza actually started off kind of calm, cool, and collected fighting Vegeta, but then I guess as, oh my god almighty, that's beautiful, but I guess as the fight progressed, he, and the more power he exerted, he just lost his fucking mind, because even when he saw Gohan, uh, he got super triggered, he's like, look at this guy, bro, niggas out here fucking showing off, banging out, and damn, this is depressing, I can never get this guy's passive, maybe I can, hold up, maybe I can, maybe I can, hold up, let's, let's try this, let's try this, hold up. Oh, man, no, I can't. Fuck. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's try it. Wait, let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that's depressing. Um, should I heal? Should I use that? I'm going to heal and use Ikaru. I'm going to heal and use that Icarus. That's that real shit. All right, there we go. And I guess I'm going to take no key. Fuck it. What's the point? It's the point of living. I don't want to live anymore. Fuck it. I'm going to listen to Logic's new song. 1-800-273, blah, 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 and fucking kill myself. That'll be the ultimate show of irony. So, yeah. So, basically, Goku giving that energy to Frieza actually isn't that retarded. Because it basically showed, as a character, although Goku became so strong. And, and the, even the whole, like, Namek song, they're like, is that really Goku? That man is super strong. That man is super handsome. And it's like, nope. I'm still me. I'm still a nice guy. And I'm very kind and loving. And when the Mongos, Mong and Monger, became um, Super Saiyans, it basically showed, like, how that shit can, like, corrupt your mind almost, like, the power so intoxicating. Because when they became, like, Gotenks, and they became strong, it wasn't even, like, Super Saiyan, they, like, went to fight Boo immediately. Like, Piccolo's like, nigga, wait 20 minutes, and then go fight him at your full capacity. And they're like, nah, Piccolo, we good. We don't need to do that. And it's like, what? What are you talking about? And the reason is, like, they're too young to have all that power. You know, needless like Kanye West always said, you know, no man, no one man can have all that power. How, Sway? How? Tell me how. So it, it really is a, a testament to the character development of that show, which is kind of weird. Like, 
with Dragon Ball Super, how they decided to like, I don't want to say mistreat the whole Super Saiyan experience, but they, they really did boil it down so much. Like, like literally all Kaba had to do to become Super Saiyan was to like be like coached by fucking what's his name Vegeta. Vegeta's like, imagine your planet is destroyed. Everyone's getting raped. I'm there, fucking your mother in the mouth. And Kaba's like, how dare you? How dare you talk about my planet sandals? Don't talk about my Adidas sandals. They're my fucking sandals. And then he gets triggered and becomes Super Saiyan. And Vegeta tells him, like, keep that state, blah, blah, blah. Which was kind of mong. I'm like, I understand, okay. Like, I guess he, I don't know, simulated becoming a Super Saiyan. I, it's bullshit. But I'll be like, all right, I'll let, I'll let that fly. I, I don't agree with it. I think it's stupid, but I'll let it fly. But the most Mong thing is, like, what they showed kind of sort of recently, like a week or two ago, is Kaba goes back to his planet, and he just goes up to some bitches. He's like, hey, what's going on? Like, he was trying to get some pussy. He's like, hey, what's going on, bitch? Hey, what's going on? Hey, man. Um, Yo, right. How about it? You give me some, how about this? You give me some ass? I'll tell you how to become a Super Saiyan. They're like, what? Man, you crazy. And he's like, no, 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 no. Now, listen, listen. You give me a little pussy? I'll tell you how to become a Super Saiyan. And then he just tells them. And he's like, you become a Super Saiyan. Whoa, what happened to my game? Whoa, fuck, I thought it died for a second. Um, but he's like, you become a Super Saiyan by, like, just thinking about it and, like, let it tingle. And, like, when you feel that point where, like, your asshole's clenching up, clench it harder. And, like, like do it, like, feel the power. And you become a Super Saiyan. And then, like, one bitch became a Super Saiyan. And then the other bitch, the, the female bro, became a Super Saiyan. And I, I saw that, and I said, damn, bro, Kira Toriyama said, fuck it, bro. Like, he, he was really, like... Like, fuck, I'm just make a feel-good episode. We gonna make these motherfuckers Super Saiyan in, like, two seconds. And we don't give a fuck. We good. We good. We don't need to worry about, like, character development. Any, like, you know, things that go on with it. And honestly, this is what I'll say about my last thing about Dragon Ball Super. I think one of the worst things about Dragon Ball Super... One thing that was interesting at first, but now it's probably the worst thing... Is that there's so many different characters and so many interworking pieces... It's hard to create character development for certain people because there's so many people and just don't care. Like they had, they tried so hard to like make Hit interesting. Like, oh, he's a Hit man. He goes across the universe. Blah 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 blah. And it's like, nigga. First of all, I don't care. Second of all, this is a rip off of Piccolo. What are you doing? But now, like for the other Saiyans, there's like zero character development. Certain characters there's zero character development. Whereas in DBZ, there was only like nine niggas. Like you could do character development for them. But a character I was like, fuck it, bro. We're going to have more people than motherfuckers who play World of Warcraft in this series. And I'm going to give them no character development. So, with that being said, I'm going to get on my sled. I'm going to hop up out of here. I'm probably going to go to bed. Um, and uh, hopefully I didn't hurt your head with all the bullshit I was saying. Because at the end of the day, it is bullshit. I mean, a character I was probably making a million dollars a year and just fucking popping Kristall from this bullshit. So, Loki, I'm just a jealous fuck, boy.